state variables can only be updated in response to user actions. But there's no limit to what information we can store in state variables. In a simple case, we could use a state variable to track the number of times a user clicked a button and display that number on screen. Or we could store the values that a user entered into a form field. We could also store information about the count a user is logged into. Then we could use the user's name to welcome them to our site. We could also use state variables to store which slide an image carousel is set to. So how do we create a state variable or update its value? Remember in AMP, we respond to what the user does through events and actions. The AMP runtime provides an action called setState that allows us to set the value of state variables. This AMP setState action takes as an argument a JSON object. That object contains the state variables that need to be updated. The object's keys are the names of the state variables, and its values are the state variable's values. The sample code you see on the screen there shows a button listening for when it is pressed or clicked. When the user presses the button, the state variable called wasPressed is set to the value true. If your state contains more than one state variable, you'll only need to pass the data you want to change to the setState method. AMP will intelligently merge the JSON object, which contains the updated data, into the existing state. This means that there's no need for you to merge the values yourself or pass every state variable every time you call setState. The sample code on screen shows an example of how AMP merges state variables. First, we use AMP.setState to signal the intent to set state variables button click count and message. The current state variables are button click count, is accordion open, and message. The result of the merge is that button click count and message's values changed and is accordion open remains unchanged. You can also set initial values for your state variables. To do this, just add an AMP state component to your page. The ID attribute is required. Inside this component, you add a script tag. This tag needs a type attribute set to application slash JSON. And then inside the script tag, you add a JSON object. When your site loads, a state variable with that name is assigned that JSON object. Here's an example of setting initial state using the AMP state component. This creates the state variable accordion state dot is open with a default value of false. When the button is clicked, the value of is open is toggled.